Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. This is Mahalik with Invicta Studios. Uh, today I wanted to teach you about breakpoints and um, how they're useful to help you uh, with debugging and finding exactly where and what might be going wrong with your code. Um, they're really handy and I haven't seen very many people that actually use them or teach about them. So I wanted to just go over that real quick with this video. Basically what they do is uh, like say you have like a certain node you can right click it and add a breakpoint or remove one and um, when you play the uh, like when you press play as soon as that node actually fires it will pause the game at that frame and take you back into the blueprints and uh, you can click uh, there'll be a button up here that skip and you can follow the execution node by node and see exactly what variables are set and what's going on so you can see if something's off or maybe something's not being set or something skipped or see which way it goes on certain branches and all that so you can pinpoint exactly what's going wrong or maybe why something's not firing the way it should so today I set up a real simple example um, the setup is basically in the first person every time we press the T key it'll fire this little function it just it gets all the actors of a class that I, uh, a little test class I made um, it'll get the length of the array uh, randomly pick one and um, fire this little custom event in there that I made which is basically it'll set the floating text to show fired um, so here it is in there like I press play and if I hit the T key one of them will randomly say fired and if I keep pressing it eventually they'll all say fired but um, perhaps you've already run into the bug or maybe you can just see it since it's somewhat simple but occasionally um, when I press T key one of them won't fire um, on the first try if I press it a lot sometimes since it's random it might be refiring one but sometimes on that very first try, like if I press T, it won't fire. So we're going to figure out why today. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to add a breakpoint on when I press T so I can follow the execution. Even though it's not a long line, it'll show, it'll go through it and show me. But it'll also show everything else that fires. So after it does this little bit, it's going to go through and it's going to try to show me all the different mouse inputs and even goes into animation since I'm doing this inside the character but I can skip all that so press play and when I press T it'll pause it and take me here like the game's still running like if I press resume it'll go back but right now it's frozen in this frame so I can step it's showing it's uh, doing the function now we're in the function uh, it's getting all the actors and now it, it's um, doing the uh, custom event I set up but right here um, since it's done all this I can see the array and it shows the three classes I can see the length which is set to three uh, it's picking the value of zero randomly and it's getting um, this class by step it's gonna go ahead and skip it so I can just resume I don't need that uh, press T again we'll go through here um, now I can see it's set randomly picking one it's got that resume T again skip through it now it's picking two randomly doing that I'm actually going to stop because since I know it's going to be the same every time until it gets right here, I don't need this blank breakpoint here. So I'm going to remove it, come back, and I'm just going to put it right on here. So I can skip all that. So I'll pray, not play, press T. It's picking one, so it's going to have this. Uh, zoom, press T again picking three and now I see it's returning null which means nothing's firing 
So say it was something more advanced than this setting a text. I'm I can possibly now realize that there's a one in four chance that it's not doing anything. So like this this happened to me um in real life when I was working on another project and I using the breakpoint I realized that I only had one thing, so it was either returning one or zero and that made me realize half the time it was returning zero. So even though I only had one actor of class, this was somewhat misleading, like the length um, I was returning one, but there were two options, zero or one. So the way for me to fix it um, is I'd actually have to do the length minus one. Since it's a, a zero base index, the arrays are, um, the first one is actually starting on zero and the max is going to be the length minus one. But using breakpoints, you can, it helps you figure out simple things like that that you might not have seen otherwise, especially when you have really complex code. Um, like I've used breakpoints help me figure out this, what things were being set specifically when I was doing my AI. Because you can set up breakpoints and anything, even like the AI characters. Um, and it really helps to be able to actually go and see exactly what's being set and be able to figure out exactly why. So that, since I've learned about breakpoints, I, I use them often. And I wanted to make a video to help other people um, debug their projects easier when they needed to. So that's my uh, video for this week. Um, we do uh, tutoring for anyone who might need it on uh, Fiverr. Um, it's pretty simple. Like uh, I forget exactly how we set it up, but um, if you wanted to, we could do like an hour-long tutorial session with like video chat and pretty much whatever you might need. Uh, if you have something you want made in blueprints or maybe a material or train or any of that you could also just like pay us to make it it's pretty much whatever you, you need um, uh, I think that's about it if I have anything if there's anything else that I'm forgetting right now we'll have it in the description below but that should be all for today uh, have a good night